I actually saved those kids' lives, and I told them that. I told them that. I said, man, maybe you'll come and thank me later on for what I did. An Indianapolis business owner catches a group of teens breaking into his business. He says it's the fourth time this has happened. The situation now so desperate he was sleeping in his business next door to catch them. Tonight, he tells our Lauren Caustic why when he caught them in the act, he still chose mercy. Yeah, this is the door that they keep kicking in, tearing down, getting through. They try to get through the windows. So this Dwayne is Tyler is a longtime business owner on the east side, owning two stores near 38th and Emerson. I've been down there since I was in my 20s. I've been like three decades. But in the last three weeks, he's dealt with four break-ins. During the most recent one, he was trying to protect the building himself when an alarm went off. So I jumped up and I grabbed the phone, called 911. I grabbed my pistol and my shoes, forgot to put my clothes on. So I had to come over here in my underwear and hold these guys at bay till the police came. Dwayne said he fired shots near the entrance and told the teens to get on the ground. Two of them got away. I came over here with every intention to stop somebody from doing it again, but they was kids, you know what I mean? And I got kids and I seen the fear in their face, so I just, I just held them at bay till the police came. In the meantime, he's asked community faith leaders and police for help. He's not sure what else to do. I can't win. I'm reaching out to everybody that I was told to reach out to, to no avail. He believes the problem is coming from the nearby gas station and liquor store, saying the owner should be required to hire security. You know, we wouldn't have those problems. We probably have some of them, but we wouldn't have 90% of those problems. Now, hoping those responsible won't return. Killings, I've been through shootouts, I've been through it, and I'm still here, and I'm going to be here. I'm not going to let the break-ins deter me or close me down. I want to find solutions to fix it so I don't have to keep going through this before somebody does get hurt. In Indianapolis, Lauren Caustic, 13 News. IMPD arrested two teens after that most recent burglary. They're still looking for two others. Officers say they also plan to increase patrols in that area. And while our crew was out there, IMPD was actually talking with Dwayne Tyler about the B-Link camera program. That's what connects cameras to indie businesses with IMPD's network to help them monitor and prevent crimes around the city. IMPD says 87 businesses have signed up for the B-Link network so far with 251 views. And you can learn more about the B-Link camera system and other surveillance technology Metro Police are using. We've got it online at WTHR.com.